Entertaining homecoming football game at Carlson Stadium this afternoon. Nebraska Wesleyan with a 27-24 win. And getting the pro post-game thoughts of Coach Aaron Hafner. Uh, entertaining game, Coach. Uh, your overall thoughts and impression of the games? Yeah, I, I think it comes down to just us making a play. I mean, I, you know, our, we have to have kids start stepping up and making plays in crucial situations. And um, offensively, we, we, you know, we got to find somebody that can make a play. And defensively, you know, as third down and long, we have to be able to make plays. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's about having playmakers in, in college football. And right now, today, for sure, uh, we just didn't have any, anybody step up and make a big play. And you look at the stat sheet, uh, total yards within 19 of each other, uh, three play uh, difference between both teams. Uh, the stats were pretty much as even as the uh, scoreboard indicated, and what you just mentioned uh, was the difference. It was, and, and you know, you look at it, and they made a field goal, and we missed one. I mean, that's what, it was it's about as equal as it gets as far as, uh, um, you know, the game goes, and um, when it comes down to it, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take Corey in that situation. Uh, again, right now, I mean, he, he's, he's been really clutch for us and, and just missed hit it just by a couple inches, and it happens in the game, you know, and, and he'll come back next week and be ready to go. And we talk about your uh, team's resiliency. You gave up that field goal, got the ball back with 6.46 uh, remaining, got yourselves into a third, into a scoring situation. Uh, what made it happen on that last drive that unfortunately you didn't get any points out of? Yeah, I, mean, I think we had a big, you know, pass play right down the middle on third down or second down, and and um, you know that, that that was a big play just to keep the drive alive and um, just we, we weren't, you know, we weren't in a big hurry really. I mean, we had the opportunity to, um, you know, the first down when we got down on the third, he killed us a little bit. We went backwards and um, and then we, you know, we kind of on, on third down got one, got eight yards to put us in good field goal range and um, just came up a little short at the end there. A couple of individuals having nice games for you. Uh, Josh Harrington getting his first real time uh, collegiately, a big 70-yard uh, touchdown run, uh, 76 yards overall for him. Uh, talk about his development. Uh, where has he gotten to and where does he need to go yet? You know, we, we had Nick Slavens go down with a concussion um, during the week, so... Um, Josh stepped in, did a great job today. Um, he, he's just, he's one of those young men that, you know, ha, has improved every week and, um, and, you know, from the start of camp till now, uh, he, he deserves to play. I mean, he's doing a great job in practice and um, doing everything we've asked him to do and um, he's got some speed, you know, so uh, he, he, and he showed that, you know, that long touchdown round down the sideline. And that touchdown run, uh, one thing I loved about that play, here's James Astley, 50 yards downfield, giving him that final key block to, for him to use that speed. Yeah, boy, that, I mean, that stood out because James completely on the other side of the formation and just a complete hustle play, and he got completely back in front of the defensive back from the other side. So great hustle play by James. He, he does that stuff all the time mm -hmm. and uh, just a, an excellent football player for us. In your kick return game, probably had its best game of the season uh, today, uh, Damon Stroop had a long of 50, averaged about 30-some uh, yards of return. Uh, that's something that's uh, really uh, developing and getting better. Uh, what's the reason for that? Well, we practice it a lot, and, and you know, Coach uh, Del Chucci does a great job with that. And, um, you know, we, we, we watch a lot of film, and tomorrow we'll go back and, and correct a few things. But every Sunday we go in and just try to tr try to keep getting a little bit better at all those special teams things every week. And, yeah, we about popped one, you know, um, got a long one. Um, what was it, 50, I, I think mm -hmm. he said. And, um, our average was good today, so I mean we work extremely hard on that during the week. And for the most part, uh, a couple of things that you struggled with last week, uh, you were probably better on first down today, and uh, third down conversions, uh, 8 for 13, that's a pretty good uh, total. Uh, so even though you're probably not where you want to be, uh, the consistency is getting a little bit better, is that fair to say? Yeah, it was a weird game today. I mean, yeah. you, you look at some of the key stats that we look at, and you know, without looking at the score, you'd think, you know, maybe we won. But, I mean, you know, some of those third down conversions. And we had one turnover, but our defense held to a field goal. Um, they didn't, you know, they didn't turn the ball over today. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that was probably, uh, you know, the difference when it came down to it. And uh, the challenge going ahead as you uh, head to Simpson uh, next week, uh, did a lot of things well, didn't get those key plays at key times. Uh, is this a challenge to come back uh, mentally from being the fact that uh, you fought pretty hard but uh, didn't get the result you wanted today? We'll find out. I mean, you know, that's that's what I said to the to the guys after the game. I mean, we're all extremely disappointed that, you know, we, we thought this is a game we are going to win and, and like, you know, like we do every week. But, I mean, um, you know, homecoming game, our kids were really, really locked in before the game, having a lot of fun. And, 
um, you know, it's going to be a challenge going to Simpson next week. We've got a couple long road trips here in the next couple of weeks. So um, I, I, I look for this group to bounce back and practice this week and, and be very competitive next week versus Simpson. Hopefully that's exactly what happens and a little better result. Uh, Coach, uh, thanks for joining us here after the game. Yep, thank you. Nebraska Wesleyan wins 27-24 uh, here for homecoming Saturday at Carlson Stadium.